Hello everyone. I'm so sorry for the extended absence. I've had family and friends come and stay at my house over the last three weeks, so I wasn't able to video or upload. Um, I was requested to do this comparison um, from someone on YouTube, and I'm so sorry that I can't find your um, name anywhere or that you requested this so I would love to credit you but um, I, I am sadly not able to find that. Uh, so this is a cup uh, versus cup comparison between the Lunette cup and the Schoon cup. The Lunette cup here I have two sizes. This blue one is the size small and the coral is the size large and my schoon is a size 2 or a size large and in this video I'm just going to use the two larger sizes to do the comparison with but I did want to bring in the lunette small and that it has the full stem intact so that you can see it. So both the lunette and the schoon have websites and they have a lot of great information so you should visit those if you have any additional questions um, if I can't answer them or I don't answer them here um, and if you don't want to ask me if you just want to do your own research that's fine um, but they have a lot of really good information uh, the navigation on their websites is really easy uh, their price points are very um, similar Oh, I just hit my camera. I'm so sorry. Um, the the Lunette is originally $39.99, but I have seen it go on sale on um, their vendor sites or their uh, people that sell the Lunette uh, for them uh, as low as $19.99. So, uh, it, you know, check for their discounts, like on their Facebook page. Um, they list all of their sales and discounts there. They do giveaways quite frequently, so um, make sure you like on them. And the Schoon site, I have seen the Schoon go on sale for $36.99 uh, the last time I visited their website, which was a few days ago. They, they were having a sale, um, and originally they're $39.99. I haven't seen as many sales as I do with the Lunette Cup, um, but, you know, maybe I'm just missing them. So check for both their uh, Facebook pages and like on their their sites, uh, or check their websites and like on their Facebook pages to, to be updated with those at ev any given time. So the Lunette is made in Finland, and the Schoon is from the USA. The Lunette offers five colors and the Schoon offers six colors. And I know some people think that it might be stupid to want the colors, but anything to make you smile during that time of the month is great for me. So I get the colors that I like and um, I actually try to pass up on the clears if I, if I can. Uh, anyhow, <laughs> uh, both of these cups offer two different sizes, size small and size large, or size one and size two. And they have different guidelines uh, for for um, purchasing either the small or large, but it really, really depends on your body because I'm able to use both, um, both sizes. And I like to have a small on hand just for my uh, discharge days or my, my really light days, spotting days. And I, I guess I could use one of the larger cups, but I like to have the small cup. That's just So before me. I begin with the details of the cup, I do want to mention that these two cups are different shapes. The lunette shape is more of a V-shaped cup, or if I turn it upside, uh, this side, this way, um, you can see that it's V'd right here. And the Schoon Cup is more like a bell. So it flares out here at the bottom. Both of these cup companies uh, state on their website that they are made of medical grade silicone. Um, I didn't check for certificates, but they are both 
cleared and approved for sales in the United States, so they must have done some testing and have some certificates. If you're wondering about those, curious, worried, please do your own research. Uh, the silicone texture of these cups are quite different. The Lunette is a smooth silicone. Um, there's not any texture to it. It's just, um, just smooth. And when I do my slip test, and what I call a slip test, I press my fingers together and I pinch down and I pull my fingers apart. And um, you can see here that my fingers just slide over it, glide over that silicone. So it is a smooth silicone. Uh, I don't have problems removing this cup. My fingers don't just slip right off of it. The grip rings um, aid in that and that's a really uh, th those are really good grip rings which I'll cover later on but um, again it it is a smooth silicone the schoon cup and I just washed my cup but it is picking up all this lint from the flannel that I'm using um, the the schoon cup has like a, a brushed texture to it and it's uh, it feels very different than any of my other cups. It, and for a lack of better words, I want to call it mushy. Not in a bad way, but um, it just, it's so soft. And doing the squish test, it has a good grip to the silicone. So my fingers don't just slide right off of it. And you can see these, this texture if you can look past all of this lint, it does have like a brushed texture to it. It's a really nice silicone. It feels, it feels kind of, I want to say bubbly. Um, it, it's like, I don't know, it, it has a thickness to it where it feels like um, there's air trapped inside of the silicone, but I know there isn't. So, I don't know, mushy, bubbly, the words that I use. <laughs> Since my large lunette doesn't have a stem anymore, uh, this is a small lunette, and this is my daughter's. She doesn't need to cut the stem off of it. Uh, this is a tab style stem, and you can see if I turn it to its side, uh, this stem is flat and it gives a good base for you to be able to pinch down on when you're removing your cup if you still need to use the stem. Uh, the stem is stretchy but it's it has a stopping point right about there and that helps where uh, you're pulling the stem and the cup will um, move just enough down for you to pinch at the base. Um, with some of the other cups, sometimes when you pull the stem, it continues to exit your body and the cup is still um, suctioned to you. So this is a nice stem because it does have that stopping point. It is quite, quite flimsy. Um, and if I pinch down this way, uh, it doesn't give a whole bunch so it is a little bit more firm when it's turned this way. As for the schoon cup, this I would call uh, an antenna style stem. I don't know what other companies call it but um, I refer to it as an uh, antenna because it reminds me of the old cartoon The Jetsons where they had an antenna on their helmets and their cars and whatnot. so that's what it reminds me of. Um, and the Schoon Cup has these four gr grip rings on it. They're quite raised but they're soft. This stem is very soft and when I squeeze it, it just um, smashes down and honestly that's not a very good design for me personally because when I go to use the stem uh, when you pull it and it's very soft I have a whole bunch of lint here I'm sorry it's bothering me um, it, it's so soft that these grip rings kind of just go away into the rest of the silicone and your fingers just slide right off of them and you can see there that 
uh, it's just sliding and there is no ball at the end so your fingers don't have a stopping point uh, when you're trying to remove the cup and that gave me a problem because I went to go um, pull my cup down a little bit so that I could reach the base of the cup and that happened it snapped back at me and it was it was pretty uncomfortable a uh, little more than uncomfortable <laughs> very surprising um, and so after that I just uh, passed up or bypassed the stem and bared down to grab onto the base of the cup down here um, I I don't like this this stem design one bit just because of that I don't really need the stem um, so I would end up cutting that off but just know that if you know you have a warning that if you're going to use the schoon cup and you need that stem just be careful because it will snap back at you while I'm speaking about the stems I wanted to mention that the lunette has a good amount of meat inside for you to cut the stem completely off if you needed to. The seal is to this top grip ring here. So you have a lot of meat to play with. Um, there's probably no worries on cutting into the actual cup itself if you're cutting that stem all the way off. And as you can see with my large lunette, I did cut that stem all the way off. And I could even go l lower if I really, really needed to. But I just, I cut the stem off and I filed it down a bit. The schoon cup does not have a whole bunch of um, meat in there or a, a good seal in there for you to cut r um, lower than, than just the stem itself. Um, $39 or $40 for me is a bit pricey um, so just to be safe I would probably leave this little bit of nub left uh, maybe just cut to this grip ring and call it good so if I turn this inside out you can see if I can turn this inside out um, you can see that there is not very much meat there for you to um, make an error in cutting that stem off. So just just be aware of that when you when you go to cut that off if you are going to cut it off. So they both have these top grip rings and they're quite different. The lunette has three grip rings on the top and they're raised quite a bit off of the cup and you can hear them a lot. They make a lot of noise there. They're not a very smooth transition. Oh, that's a bad, ugly nail. Um, so they have a raised edge there and that might be problemsome to the people that can feel all of these little bumps. Uh, I've actually had to take my finger and and wipe wipe some of the uh, discharge and uh, clotting away from that. So it, some of my blood tend to get stuck in these ridges here. The schoon cup has this different pattern, and it kind of it, it kind of reminds me of the top of a strawberry. I don't know what look they were going for. Uh, but it has like a five petal flower design and then um, a broken ring of circles around it. And um, I know that there was a video, I think it was by Brie, she was talking about these being really flimsy. And, and they are. So you can see it just kind of rocks back and forth um, against your finger. So... I have no problems with it really because they're so soft that um, just the water pressure alone move them and so my blood doesn't get trapped. It gives a, a good a good grip I would say for myself. I didn't have any problems removing that 
uh, using those grip rings um, on either of these cups. And um, I would say these might be okay for somebody that was sensitive because they're so soft that uh, you don't really feel those bumps because they move, um, but they don't move so much that your fingers can't grip onto them. So the lunette has this secondary rim and it's it goes quite high um, and the secondary rim is what I call it I don't know if there's a technical name but it's this rim that is between the softer part of the cup and this top rim which is the firmest part of the cup besides maybe the stem um, and it just aids in having the cup pop open when you insert it and the lunette was my favorite for a long time. It still is one of my favorites just because it opens so easily. I don't have to coax it in any way. And sometimes it even opens too soon for me just because the resistance wants to make it pop open. So it's a really cup, a really easy cup to get open for me. Um, so here's the secondary rim. And the Schoon Cup doesn't really have that uh, style. You don't see that break in it like um, the Lunette Cup does. But it does get more firm. And uh, you can see that there's a lip right here where it starts to flare out. And I did wash my cup. This lint is just picking up from this flannel that I'm using. Um, and it gets more firm from this where it starts to flare out to that top rim so there is like an invisible secondary rim and you can see that it gets thick here at the rim and that's a different different design than the lunette um i was gonna say well since i already started saying it uh i did have some problems with the the schoon cup in the beginning because it was so soft I was having a hard time opening any of my soft cups it wasn't just the schoon and I had to find that sweet spot um, lower in my vaginal opening or vaginal canal to allow it to open before I pre pressed it or pushed it into place um, and it didn't have anything to really do with the cup. It was just me finding that spot where it would open. If I opened it or tried to open it while it was too high, it just stayed smashed inside of me like this. Um, and I think it's just my muscles pressing on it, on it um, or against it. And having that secondary rim on the lunette really made the cup open easy for me without having to have it in a certain spot to open. The lunette has four holes in it and they're evenly spaced across from each other here. And you can see they're quite large holes. There we go. And they're drilled, punched, molded, I don't know, straight into the cup. So there's no um, slanted or diagonal direction to the, the holes. And the uh, Schoon Cup has five, and they're in a, like a flower petal design. So here, 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 and here. And they are, it looks like they're molded because you can see a, a, a seam right around that. They are molded up. So from the outside to the inside, it goes in an upward direction. And from the inside to the outside, it goes down. And you can see the um, travel direction of those molds in this, uh, in this shot. You can see that it gets white on the inside. It's just the the reflection or the light coming in. So you can see all the holes all the way around this cup. Both of these cups have um, their names molded into it or into them. And oh, there we go. 
you can see that this one says lunette and it has measuring lines but not uh, numbers and on the other side it says made in Finland uh, there are no molds on the inside of this cup and the schoon cup says schoon right here by the grip rings on the top and made in USA and there are no measurement lines around the cup and there's nothing on the inside as well the lunette has these seams that start on one uh, side of the cup that it goes up and over and back down the other side and they're quite raised um, I can't feel them when it's inserted but I know some people have a sensitivity to those so know that they are there and you can see that line there and there's a little piece of silicone that um, wasn't removed before I purchased it um, but I don't feel that it also has a rim uh, right around or I'm sorry a seam right around the top of the rim and that's the part that's going to be pressed up against you um, and again it is kind of raised sorry for the lint and let's see you can see it there I don't have a problem with any of these um, bumps the grip rings or anything but I, I do hear people say that it is very uncomfortable for them so um, if you are sensitive this probably would not be a good cup for you the schoon cup um, it has these little seams around their molded um, suction release holes and I don't know if you can see them I just washed my cups and they're getting so much lint there we go you can see that there's a, a ring around that hole but they they uh, brushed it out really nicely I can't even feel it with my fingertips and they also have a seam that goes around the outside of the uh, the rim here but again they brushed that out really nicely so I don't even feel them with my fingertips I really like the finish on this it was a, a, a good finish the lunette measures a tad over two inches and that is without the stem it holds uh, 30 milliliters which would equal one ounce and that is the maximum capacity to the rim of the cup and the schoon minus the stem is two inches in height and it also holds uh, 30 milliliters or one ounce to the very top of that rim Here's a quick comparison between the cups and some everyday desk items that I have. Um, first is my Carmex Lip Balm, which is just a regular standard size like Chapstick or Blistex. And you can see how big it is. I'm really bad at measurements when somebody says, oh, it's this big, and I'm like, well, how big is that? <laughs> So just to compare against some things that you might have on your desk, you can see. And that was my lip balm. And here is a Sharpie pen. I love Sharpies. I love to draw with them. So it, it's just about the size of the cap itself. Oh, I'm off camera, so sorry. I'm trying to see what I'm doing without looking into the camera, and I'm getting off of the camera. So those were uh, 
two items that you might have on hand so you can see approximately how big the cups are. So the last thing I'm going to do is um, just to compare them up against each other, uh, do a turnover and also a squish test. So I guess it's not the last thing because I have a few things in that. Try to get these evened up. And I think because the scoon flares at the ends, um, it is a tad, tad uh, wider at the rim. Ever so slight, though. And the squish test. So I'm going to just do the back of the cups first, or the bottom of the cups first, and then I'll do the rims after that. So what I'm looking for is which one caves in um, in in the center and uh, closes the gap first. And here's the inside of the lunette and inside of the schoon cup. So the schoon is a lot more soft than the lunette. The schoon touches on both sides to the center or they meet in the center. You can hear, that's the schoon making noise. Um, and here are the rims. And again, the schoon cup is a lot softer in the rim. Well, that concludes my uh, comparison of the lunette to the schoon cup in the size 2 uh, models. And I hope I covered everything that you were questioning about. I am so sorry that I can't find you again to credit you, whoever you are that asked for this comparison. Thank you very much. Um, if I had forgotten anything or if you had an additional question, please go ahead and leave them in the comments below or you can find me on Facebook. All my information is in the description as well as the websites for these two cups. If you're interested in more menstrual cup information, cup versus cup comparisons, or personal reviews, check out my channel and please don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.